Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Brian Lane Designs. And uh, today we're going to be showing you how to make a Christmas garland. Um, I have two eight foot Christmas garlands. They have already been pre-flocked. I bought them uh, at a, um, a, uh, a store that already, they already came flocked. And um, so we're going to get into it and we're gonna show you how to make a beautiful wintry Christmas garland, okay? Okay, the first thing you're going to do when you get your garland, because it's gonna come all bunched up and it's going to look like this, really ugly. So what you need to do is, we're just going to go all the way through the garland and we are going to open all of the branches and get them nice and full. Now with this particular garland, I have got two um, and I'm going to intertwine them together and that is going to make it thicker and fuller and it's going to be easier to insert our picks and to get it all decorated. So this is all you're gonna do. You're just gonna continue going through the whole thing until you get it completely fluffed out. Okay, now that we have both of our garlands opened up and fluffed out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you can see uh, the spine of the garland. You can see the spine, like this would be the back. And you just take both backs and you put them up together, like so. Just put them together like that, okay? And then you can just use the branches to tie, to tie them together. Okay, now that we have our garland put together, I'm gonna show what all we're going to be filling this garland in with. So what I'm doing is matching the wreath that I made and I will show a picture of that. Well, I'll show uh, that here in a minute. And we are only gonna be putting four things in this, actually five, including the ribbon um, in this garland. So um, one of the things we're gonna be putting in is this snowy uh, cedar pick. And here is another type of a cedar. It's like a glistening, more um, variegated cedar. And we're gonna be putting in this pick, which is a, it's a frosty lamb's ear and Christmas decor berry pick. This one right here. And which is one of my favorites. And we're also gonna be putting in this snowy twiggy um, um, branch with berries, okay? So, Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to bring down our garland and start working on this end. Oops, sorry. And what you wanna do is I'm gonna go in with this pick right here first and when you are on the left side of the garland or whatever side you're working on, you are going to go this way. When you're on the opposite side of the garland, you're gonna go the opposite, the opposite side. And in the center, you're just gonna kind of have things raised up, okay, to meet, uh, to give a nice flow. Sorry about my dogs. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna cut this. Uh, about down to that right there, okay? I don't have my glue pot down here, so I'm just, I brought my trusty old glue gun, which I love. Make sure you get enough glue on this. 
okay? And then we're going to just come on the end down here. We're just going to find a nice little area that this is going to grab onto and lay it right there. And if you want to just double secure it, you can also tie it in right there where the glue is, okay? So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go all the way through this garland and I'm going to insert these picks. what it should look like. Uh, this is what you're going to end up having to start off with, okay? You can see where we just added these in and how they are going one direction here and they're going the other direction on the other side, okay? And we're back. So now we're going to go in and we're going to add in our snowy cedar pick okay and with this pick what we're going to do is we're going to cut this pick into two pieces we're going to bend it right here we're going to cut that piece and this piece will stay intact okay So I'm going to come right here on the end and I'm just going to insert that right down in, right down in there. Now, because we already have our cedar pick in there, it is going to adhere to that and you're not going to really have to do any tying. Okay. So let's go ahead and lower the camera and we will continue on. Actually, I'm going to cut this instead of two, I'm going to cut this into three pieces. All right. I'm gonna cut that out right there. So this is gonna give us three pieces. And with this one, I'm just gonna come in on the sides, here and there. I'm not going to put it all in the middle. We just put more of the greenery part in the middle just to break up some of the, the real snowy look. And these are just going to be, oops, they're going to be sprinkled throughout, okay? Just make sure that you're adding enough glue that um, it, so that it will stick. Again, we're going to cut that piece. We're going to have this piece and this piece.
Okay, now that we have our um, our greenery pick, which was the uh, the sparkly cedar, and we have the um, the snowy the snow covered cedar picks in our garland. The next thing we're going to add is this. Um, Again, this is the Frosty Lamb's Ear and Berry Pick. So this will be our next item that we're going to add to the greenery, okay? So I will go ahead and lower the camera so you can see, okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this. We're probably going to add this hole um, the same way that we did in to the the wreath okay so we're going to go ahead and kind of open this up to bring it to life you always want to make sure that you open your picks and fluff them and get them back to what they would normally look like if they were real okay all right so i'm going to go ahead this stem is a little long so we're going to cut this and again, we're just gonna go towards the left, um, that direction on this end, and we're going to put this right down on the end, and it's gonna stick right in there like that, okay? Let's bring this a little closer. And we're just gonna <clears throat> make sure that these are raised where they need to be, like that. And we're just gonna continue doing that <clears throat> all the way through. Okay, the next and last item, other than the ribbon that we'll be adding to this garland, is this um, twiggy, snow-covered um, berry branch, okay? And with this, we are going to cut this in pieces. Actually, we can just pull these out. They pull out pretty easily. Um, and these will be placed through uh, evenly, just like the other items. We'll just space these out and get them placed in and then we'll be able to add the ribbon, which is my favorite part. Okay. So this, I'm going to go in between where I placed the last pick. And I'm also going to take this, not only am I doing it in the center, but I'm gonna be doing this one 
uh, along the edges also. Just staggering. Okay, last part is we're gonna be adding the ribbon. And we are using this Ferris Silk one inch velvet, um, luster velvet actually, red ribbon. This is a one inch by 10 yards. And so we are just going to be incorporating this in throughout the, the, uh, the garland. I'll be making some, just a, a loop here and there because my customer does not want a bow. Um, so she just wants this intertwined in throughout the, um, the garland. So let's get started. I've already got it started down here on the end. I did a loop down here with the ribbon coming out on the end. So now we're just going to kind of intertwine. This is the part that gets a little tricky because you've got all of your stuff in there and you gotta find something to tie it into. Okay. okay, 
And now we will just go through and make sure that everything looks even and balanced. And we'll spread it out. But this is our finished piece. And I think it turned out really beautiful. I'm going to add a few more loops to it here and there. And that is going to be the end of our garland. So I think it turned out really beautiful. And so let me raise you up. Okay, everyone, so that was the tutorial for how to do a woodland garland. Okay, everybody, so uh, the next step that we are going to do, and is the last step I actually forgot, is we are going to be inserting these pine cones, these really snowy pine cones, okay? We're not going to be adding a whole lot of them um, because it's in clumps of, as you can tell, three and we don't want to overdo it. So I am gonna start down here on the end and I'm just gonna place those right, oops, sorry. I am gonna place those right down here on this end. And we're going to take this one, let's see. We just need to make sure that we space these out good so we can have a good balance. So there's one. Let's put one right here, right down in there. And there you have it, everyone. That is the full tutorial on how to do a woodland garland. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I certainly did. And uh, if you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments. And I will be more than happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have. And um, I would love it if you would consider following me on YouTube and Facebook and Pinterest and TikTok and Instagram. You can find me on all of those platforms under Brian Lane Designs. And um, I look forward to seeing you on our next tutorial. So uh, thank you all again so much. I have had a blast, like I said, and I hope you learned something. So um, uh, if you want to, like I said, ask me any questions, please feel free. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.